Hello everyone, this is Ross Kelly, CEO and Sales Associate with Love of Realty in Vidalia. As most of you know by now, during the month of October, in support of breast cancer awareness, we are choosing one name each week from a like or shared list from one of our many social media platforms, and we're making a $100 donation in the name of the local breast cancer cause, in the name of the person chosen, in the name of someone fighting, in the name of someone who has beat or in the name of someone who has lost the cause with breast cancer. Now last Friday we did our first drawing and did little, little did we know that the name that we chose was actually someone who had been in the trenches with breast cancer. And today I have with me just for a brief interview Miss Judy Russian. How are you today Miss Judy? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time and coming out and telling your story. I'm glad to be a part of it. Now I believe it was a little more than eight years ago mm -hmm. uh, that you received some news. Tell me about the news that you received. Well, I, it was quite funny. You know, you never get these calls from the doctor's office unless you know, you know something's going on. But I had been in the beauty shop and left my phone in the car and when I come out I had like five missed calls from the doctor's office in Dublin, Dr. Chisholm. And uh, I said, well, gosh, so I called back and he answered and he told me, he said, Miss Russian, he says, we've found a couple of places and he said, uh, you're going to a surgeon tomorrow. So it was just that quick. Wow. So I went and uh, met with Dr. Bedenfield and then the next week we scheduled and had the surgery removed, had the lumps removed and started our trip from there. Okay, so uh, in your case, it was called early. Early, early stage. And it was just a normal? Normal routine, yearly mammogram. Okay, now I can only imagine the uh, the emotions that probably <laughs> overtook you from originally just getting the information that you had yeah, breast cancer. it did, it did. Uh, I believe I handled it pretty well. Now my kids, uh, especially Jennifer, she didn't. Yeah. And of course, when you hear the word cancer, it, it just, you know, it goes all over you. You know, you think, you, you think death. Yeah. But it's not always death. You can't, yeah. we fight and, and give it a hard fight. But uh, through faith and the love of my family and friends, I made that journey. Good. Very good. Well, I know that you do have a, a close-knit family and I'm sure that you had a lot of support through that. How important do you believe that it is that our nation takes an entire month of October and sets it aside for breast cancer awareness? Oh, I believe it's very important and everyone should take it seriously. Uh, it affects young, old, it doesn't matter your age and we just need to keep fighting for those and are going through it, those loved ones that we have lost in it and I just think it's just important to put this month and do anything we can do to get the word out. Well that's right and, and cancer like a lot of the other illnesses are always changing always morphing into new strands and exactly. things like that. So I think that the continued support of not only awareness of breast cancer, but as well as the continued research, research. of treatment options and the things that we can do That's to, exactly to beat right. uh, breast cancer Well, just like I, I just had the radiation and uh, I do see an oncologist and I see him every three months because I take a pill. And I have been taking the, uh, the pill ever since uh, I started with the, chem the oncologist doctor in January. I had to finish all my radiation before I could go and see this doctor because they didn't want any side effects of anything. But I take this pill every day and it was only to be five years. So at my five years, my doctor in Dublin said, there's been a lot of research. I think we need that they need, you need to continue this tablet every day. So I'm still continuing to take because there is more research saying to this pill needs to be do, needs to be taken more than five years. Okay. So the research is getting better. There's so many different options out there now, and that's what we need to do. Keep keep looking for those answers. That's right. Okay. Well, now your name was chosen, and uh, again, we're donating $100 to the local breast cancer calls, either in your name or in the name of someone else you choose. What name will you be donating the $100 in? I, I, I first said me, and I thought, no, I'm good. I just want to help others. Yeah. I've been there. Um, I've had, even had a sister-in-law that, that had the chemo and all this, and, and but I think about the one person that come to mine after Luke and I were talking, I said, Anita Williamson. Okay. I just honestly, she just lays heavy on my heart. Okay, well that's good. And she is still battling. Yeah. So. 
Well, Love and Drilty be Love and Drilty is honored to offer $100 uh, to, in the name of Miss Anita Williamson to the local breast cancer awareness cause. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming out and spending some time with us today. Yeah. And uh, we really appreciate it. And we're glad that your story has ended the way that it has. Yeah, well, I appreciate y'all out doing this. Yeah, you're very it welcome. It makes such awareness. And, and, you know, everybody says, why do you do Facebook? But it's an outreach. People need things, you know, need to see these things that people go through. That, And there is help out there and someone willing to step up. That's right. Well, that's right. And that's why we wanted to keep our donations local uh, so right. that they would help local folks. Exactly. That's okay. Right. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having this me. This is Ross Kelly, CEO, Sales Associate for Love and Realty in Vidalia, bringing breast cancer awareness to our area and all those that are participating. Thanks again for liking the post and sharing the post and continue to do so to help us in this cause. Thank you.